Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video we will be learning about the muscles of the medial side of the thigh. As an introduction, we have five muscles of the medial aspect of the thigh that is the adductor longus, the adductor brevis, adductor magnus, pectineus and the gracilis muscles. Firstly, let's look at the adductor longus. It originates from a narrow flat tendon from the front of the body of the pubis between the pubic crest and the pubic symphysis. This is the right hip bone. The adductor longus muscle originates from a narrow flat tendon from the front of the body of the pubis between the pubic crest and the pubic symphysis right here. The adductor longus inserts into the linea aspera in the middle one third of the shaft of the femur between the vastus medialis and adductor brevis and adductor magnus. This is the right femur. The adductor longus inserts into the linea aspera in the middle one third of the shaft of the femur between the origin of the vastus medialis and the insertion of the adductor brevis and adductor magnus that is right here. This is the adductor longus muscle. It originates from the narrow flat tendon from the front of the body of the pubis between the pubic symphysis and the pubic crest. And it inserts into the linea aspera in the middle one third of the shaft of the femur between the vastus medialis and the adductor brevis and the adductor magnus. Right here. The adductor longus is supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve. Its action is that it is a powerful adductor of the thigh at the hip joint. Now as a whole, the adductor longus originates from a narrow flat tendon from the front of the body of the pubis between the pubic crest and the pubic symphysis right here and it inserts into the linea aspera into the middle one third of the shaft of the femur between the vastus medialis and the adductor magnus and adductor brevis. Next let's move on to the adductor brevis. It originates from the anterior surface of the body of the pubis, the outer surface of the inferior ramus of the pubis, between the gracilis and obturator externus, the outer surface of the ramus of the ischium between the gracilis and the adductor magnus. The adductor brevis originates from the anterior surface of the body of the pubis right here the outer surface of the inferior ramus of the pubis between the origin of the gracilis and the obturator externus right here and the outer surface of the ramus of the ischium between the gracilis and the adductor magnus that is right here. This is the adductor brevis. The adductor brevis inserts into a line extending from the lesser trochanter to the upper part of the linea aspera behind the upper part of the adductor longus. The adductor brevis inserts into a line extending from the lesser trochanter to the upper part of the linea aspera behind the upper part of the adductor longus that is right here. This is the adductor brevis muscle. The adductor brevis is supplied by the anterior or the posterior division of the obturator nerve. Its action is that it helps in the adduction and flexion of the thigh. Now as a whole, the adductor brevis originates from the anterior surface of the body of the pubis, the outer surface of the inferior ramus of the pubis between the obturator externus and the gracilis and the outer surface of the ramus of the ischium between the gracilis and the adductor magnus right here and it inserts into a line extending from the lesser trochanter to the upper part of the linea aspera right here. Moving on to the next muscle, we have the adductor magnus. It originates from the infralateral part of the ischial tuberosity, the ramus of the ischium and the lower part of the inferior ramus of the pubis. This is the ischium of the hip bone. The adductor magnus originates from the infralateral part of the ischial tuberosity right here the ramus of the ischium as well as the lower part of the inferior ramus of the pubis right here. The adductor magnus inserts into the medial margin of the gluteal tuberosity, the linea aspera, the medial supracondylar line and the adductor tubercle. The adductor magnus inserts into the medial margin of the gluteal tuberosity, 
the linea aspera all along its length, the medial supracondylar line as you can see right here, the medial supracondylar line and finally the adductor tubercle. This is the adductor magnus muscle. The adductor magnus is supplied by a double nerve supply. The adductor part is supplied by the obturator nerve and the hamstring part is supplied by the tibial part of the sciatic nerve. The action of the adductor part of the adductor magnus is the adduction of the thigh while the hamstring part is the extension of the hip and the flexion of the now, knee. As a whole, the adductor magnus originates from the infrolateral part of the ischial tuberosity, the ramus of the ischium and the lower part of the inferior ramus of the pubis. So it originates as a whole from here and it inserts into the medial margin of the gluteal tuberosity, the linea aspera all along its length, the medial supracondylar line and the adductor tubercle as you can see. Moving on to the next muscle, we have the gracilis. It originates from the medial margin of the lower half of the body of the pubis, the inferior ramus of the pubis and the adjoining part of the ramus of the ischium. Now as you can see here, the gracilis originates from the medial margin of the lower half of the body of the pubis, right here, the inferior ramus of the pubis as well as the adjoining part of the ramus of the ischium. This is the origin of the gracilis muscle. It inserts into the upper part of the medial surface of the tibia behind the sartorius and in front of the semitendinosus muscle. This is the right tibia. The gracilis muscle is inserted into the upper part of the medial surface of the shaft of the tibia behind the sartorius and in front of the semitendinosus right here. This is the insertion of the gracilis muscle. This is the gracilis muscle. It is supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve. The action of gracilis is that it is a flexor and medial rotator of thigh. Now as a whole the gracilis muscle originates from the medial margin of the lower half of the body of the pubis right here, the inferior ramus of the pubis, the adjoining part of the ramus of the ischium. So this is the origin of the gracilis and it inserts into the upper part of the medial surface of the shaft of the tibia behind the sartorius and in front of the semitendinosus right here. Finally, let us look at the pectineus muscle. It originates from the pectin pubis, the upper half of the pectineal surface of the superior ramus of the pubis and the fascia covering the pectineus. The pectineus muscle originates from the pectin pubis, the upper half of the pectineal surface of the superior ramus of the pubis and the fascia covering the pectineus right here. It inserts into a line extending from the lesser trochanter to the linea aspera. The pectineus inserts into a line extending from the lesser trochanter to the linea aspera right here. This is the pectineus. The pectineus muscle has a double nerve supply. The anterior fibers are supplied by the femoral nerve while the posterior fibers are supplied by the anterior division of the obturator nerve. The pectineus is a flexor of a thigh as well as the adductor of the thigh. Now as a whole, the pectineus originates from the pectin pubis, the upper half of the pectineal surface of the superior ramus of the pubis and the fascia covering the pectineus. And it inserts into a line extending from the lesser trochanter to the linea aspera right here. I hope you found this video helpful. To get updates on my latest videos, click on the subscribe button. To get notifications, tap on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.